hello and welcome to my youtube channel powerpoint university in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to create this four option infographic slide in powerpoint you can see there are four options which start from here then go to option one two three and four and then this will end likewise i have created some other slides also without uh, the start and end and there's some different gaps here and uh, again here the placement is different here and this one also with uh, different colors and different placement so let's see how to create this slide in powerpoint add a new slide right mouse click and format the background and give some dark gray background go to insert shapes under basic shapes select trapezoid draw the trapezoid and rotate it to left 90 degrees and you can make it align center for that you can come before that change the color to white go to view enable the guides and then bring it to the center of the slide align center and align middle press ctrl d to duplicate it and give a different color then align it again I'm going to cut the right part only leaving only a border on the left side for that add a new rectangle so the area which you can see is visible only I'm going to keep that so first select the trapezoid and the rectangle under merge shape select subtract you can see here only that part has been remain and others got cut group this one and then go to insert shapes under arrows select this arrow pentagon draw the arrow make it no outline and give the same color rotate the arrow say flip horizontal and then just bring somewhat outside of the trapezoid and then you can just say align middle bring some area outside of the trapezoid then for that i'm going to insert shapes and select a right triangle draw the right triangle and give some dark color remove the outlines press ctrl d and add it the another side rotate to vertical and then you can add text that we'll do later on i'm just going to add some shadow for that select the trapezoid again copy and paste it and right mouse click go to format shape and select a gradient fill i'm going to keep only two points two stops you can say and change the type to path this i'm going to make the same as a background color and the other one will be a dark black or black color or dark color any color where we can give some shadow effect increase the transparency level for the gray you have to make it 100 percent and give some soft edges to the shadow just rotate it and send this to back so you can see that there's a shadow effect already created now select all these options right mouse click and say group and then i'm just going to make it 
four i'm going to copy three more press ctrl d to duplicate it and rotate it the other side and then copy both these objects press ctrl d again and bring it down don't worry if it is going outside of the slide area then we can select all group it and then reduce the size again ungroup this now you can come and change the color select any color you like to have it you can use a gradient fill as well select any nice colors Now I have added all the colors. When go to insert shapes, select a rectangle. Here this is I'm going to say as a start with the same orange color. And bring it one more here. That will be a blue. Then I'm going to add some text now. Go to insert, start adding text. So first of all, I'm going to start with the numbers, which is 01, and you can use any font. In this case, I have used Arial Nova. Make it bold, increase the size. That is very big, reduce it. and make it a white color copy to the other options this will be 0 2 and this will be the last four options and you can use the same text here and type it the start and then you can use press ctrl d to duplicate it for the end and then you can add some detailed description inside and give the same color orange press ctrl d and copy to the other options as well and then change the color for each options depending on the the color of the the object the size make it the same size don't make any changes and if you see here this is how it will look and then we can connect also in between you can add some uh, connections there for that go to insert and under basic shapes select parallelogram give the same color orange and before that make a copy and keep it aside and send this to back Here I'm going to use the teal color, send this to back and this is the last one. This change to 
this color and send this to back so this is how it will look like the end result that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye